How to keep dog bedding clean and fresh. Updated for senior dogs and dogs with allergies. Yep, once again, <clears throat> like I said, every day seems to be Boston Laundry Day around here. Someone's either getting sick or who knows what kind of fun stuff they have. They like licking their beds for some reason. Um, so they're always junky, their beds and their blankets. And so... Uh, it seems like I do Boston laundry at least something every day. And I think that's part of the reason why my house doesn't smell like dog is because I'm always rotating. This is one load of blankets. I've got a stack of beds that need to be washed. I have some that are clean. Uh, and we've got all the ones that we're using upstairs. So we've, we've just got a truckload of um, bedding and blankets. And... I think that helps in, um, you know, keeping their bedding fresh is A, doing a lot of laundry and B, rotating them out. This is an update. I have another video uh, that I did a while back, um, but some things have changed. Uh, my dog's food manufacturer changed their list of ingredients, changed their formula, their recipe. And as a result, I believe, it triggered allergies. Um, something in it just didn't agree with them. And so I've spent the better part of the last six months trying to adjust their food and whatnot. Now, seasonal allergies come and go. Absolutely. My dogs are getting older. Things change. I get that. However, all four started having sneezing, constant sneezing, and itchy licking their paws all the time at the same time. I can't, I can't help but think that there's a correlation between the change. And I didn't know they changed the food recipe and start, until I started investigating why they were having so many problems. And so they're still having allergy problems can see out my junky window. It's now winter. There's snow on the ground, so it's not the fall leaves and the grass anymore. Um, I never thought it was. Uh, I think that maybe worsens it, but that's that's a whole different story. Uh, I've got food videos coming and updates on the Dr. Marty's ex experiment, and we got lots of stuff coming for you. Uh, but I've also changed how I do their bedding. Um, daily hasn't changed um although i used to for years i changed their bed blankets every night before we went to bed i put a fresh blanket in i don't know if i have fewer blankets or less time or fewer patients i'm not sure but now they only get changed out maybe once every two or three days uh, i'd like to get back to the old habits but we'll see so um I think the secret to keeping their bedding fresh, especially these fleecy, soft um, blankets. Uh, by the way, I get, when the nice ones go on clearance uh, after Christmas, I'll buy them um, new. But the new ones, the new sort of cheaper ones, now are super super cheap they feel more like paper than soft blankets and so I get these um soft ones at off shops or uh thrift stores secondhand stores St. Vincent's Goodwill Salvation Army those kind of places or garage sales or relatives who have what I think are too many blankets hey are you gonna use all those could I have a few thanks um so wherever I can get nice ones because you know soft matters. Uh, but I think uh, the secret is uh, white vinegar. Um, in fact, I, I'm i so impressed with what white vinegar does. And I, I add a good, well, I've got a nice deep washer, a good cup. And a little bit more, especially with this bigger load. You see, it's a nice deep washer. So, so from a new, that's almost two cups, I would venture. Um, that I dumped in there, but this is a particularly large load and particularly stinky <clears throat> load of laundry. Uh, so loads of vinegar. I put that in first into my empty bin. Um, bin. Yes, this is a washing machine. 
and I have switched to the Tide Free and Gentle. And I'm not sure, I, I, I have to think that it helps um, given how sensitive they are to, to smell. Um, you know, putting all that perfumed um, soap in, which is what I did for years, you know, because that made the blankets smell good um, to me. Uh, pretty selfish, I think. <laughs> now, but they didn't. Ha they didn't seem to have a problem. They were itchy and sneezy and all that stuff. So, oh, about that much, I'd say. Not holding it still. What is that? I don't usually measure. Quite frankly, I don't. I just put it in there and I put it just in the soap thing. I let the vinegar do its thing. Um, I used to add soap in, in with the vinegar. But, um, I learned something from my vet uh, about pea sprays. Uh, one of my Boston gets a little angry when I leave. And if I'm gone too long, well, he pees on my stuff. And it's not like, oh, you've been gone too long. I had to pee in the house. It's, you've been gone, period. And I'm mad. I'm going to pee on your chair. Yeah, kind of a pee. So I have to use urine spray, uh, pee spray. And she said the bio, the bio kind um, that has little enzymes and whatnot in it, um, don't use it with detergent because the detergent kills the enzymes and the enzymes then aren't able to destroy the odor, which is what they're there to do. So using that logic, if I put detergent in with the vinegar, which is not an enzyme, but it is a natural disinfectant and whatnot, I was thinking maybe and yes, I tend to overthink everything. Maybe um, the vinegar would work better just by itself. So now I just put the vinegar in. The other thing that I do um, is I open up all the blankets fully. When they're in the dog's beds, uh, usually they're folded. And, um, you know, there's bits of toys and hair and stuff. And I'm in a junky basement, so... I don't mind giving them a little shake to get, you know, the loose bits out, the three-dimensional stuff, maybe get rid of a little extra hair. But I do that um, before I layer them in the washer because, uh, well, you want the whole thing to get washed, not just the parts on the outside where it's folded. And I think that, um, you know, ha <clears throat> having them open is is... It's just a good idea. They get more water around them. They get more movement rather than just a wadded up nightmare. You know, like socks. You want them open when you put them in. And this is a, you know, newfangled washer without a thing in the middle. But I still work around that hole. And I just like it, it as if it were an old-fashioned one. I just layer them. I never push them in so that they... This is a high efficiency one, so there's never a lot of water in here. Um, but I want as much movement as I can. This might even be too big of a load. I'm not sure. I'm going to go ahead and load this up, and I'll be right back. Okay, we're back. Uh, you see, I've got it loaded, and I think there were a few too many. Oh, good. Something to do later, you know, because I'd hate to run out. Um, what I also do sometimes, and what I said in the other video still holds true, is that you shouldn't use fabric softener with uh, this kind of fleece. It makes them punky. They, they, they get a weird old dish rag smell to them after a while. So I don't um, ever use fabric softener uh, with fleece. The dogs are my own. I've got a lot of my own fleece blankets and I, I don't put fabric softener in those either. Uh, what you can do, um, vinegar again comes to the rescue. You can put that in the fabric softener um, dispenser and it too acts as a fabric softener, oddly enough. Now, I can hear ya. I can hear ya. Ugh, all that vinegar smell. I can't stand the smell of vinegar. Number one, A, you get used to it. Number two, it dissipates. You don't smell vinegar. Um, once it goes through its cycle, uh, once in a great while, if I've overdone it on the vinegar, um, I will get a whiff of it when I put them in the dryer, but when they come out of the dryer, I don't smell vinegar ever. Um, so don't, don't fret about the vinegar smell. 
the vinegar is what kills the dog odor. It, it somehow neutralizes. I don't know the chemistry. I don't know how it all works. Um, and if you have a particularly bad uh, load of, of laundry, um, or you want to mix it up a little bit instead of using the vinegar in in the beginning um, what i would do and i do this maybe every every four or five times um, instead of using the vinegar in it i will just sprinkle baking soda uh, throughout i'll put a layer in some baking soda put a layer in some baking soda put a layer in some baking soda um, and wash it that way still do the vinegar in the um, fabric softener area if you want to always an option anyway that's that then I put it on uh, this particular washer has a soak feature which I love uh, my old washer did not have a soak feature, and what I would do then is let it fill up with hot water, you know, get it all set, get it right before it starts, and even a few seconds after it starts its agitating um, process, um, shut it off and just let it set for an hour, an hour and a half. Uh, for me, the longer it soaks, the better. So I've got it on regular, normal. I've got it on soak. I'm gonna do an extra rinse because um, I like to get all the, as much junk out of the blankets as I can. And I think the extra rinse helps get rid of the sand and dirt from the washer, from the pipes and whatnot in the washer, which we all know sand is, is notoriously bad for things like this. Um, I'm gonna wash these in hot water and I'm gonna set it to heavy so that it goes, it runs the longest. And now we're back up to that two hours and one minute mark. It's gonna spin it high, get as much of the water and junk out of it as, as possible. And I'm gonna get her going. Um, the other thing that I have changed, of course, like the, uh, <clears throat> going to the free and gentle or the scent free dye free soap is i used to always um put fabric sheets in um in the dryer with them because again i want i wanted them to smell super super nice and so when i put them in the dryer uh, i would always put uh a fabric sheet or two in there too. Plus that cuts down on the static electricity, which is problematic for their little paws. Um, I've gone to, I still like the fabric softener in to cut the static, static electricity, but I've gone to also a, uh, a dye free, no scent uh, version of those dryer sheets. I happen to be out at this moment, so no dryer sheets or the Boston's blankets today. But then I just put them in um, and air and hit it 20 minutes on high and dry them. And then I keep them to stack down here because I have no place upstairs to store that many blankets all the time. Um, and then just rotate it out. It's a constant, constant rotation. Do laundry, dry laundry, use laundry, like any other part of the family. Um, so anyway, I hope that helps. Vinegar, baking soda, not necessarily at the same time, although I've done it at the same time. I'm not recommending it because, you know, different people use different amounts and different washers work differently, so I wouldn't recommend it necessarily, but I've done it. I've, I've done the vinegar in the bottom and layer the, the um, blankets and baking soda. It hasn't hurt a thing, but I'll leave that up to your discretion. Uh, so hopefully um, every little bit helps them. You know, I'm all about making their lives comfortable and their days happy. And if going to a less scented version of everything for their bedding um, 
helps them, well, then we're all good. Keeping their stuff clean, of course, is going to help them. Perhaps I should go back to the changing them every day. That might help their allergies as well. Learning as I go. Learning as I go. Bonus. So they're all nice and dry now. And it's been overnight. Uh, so there's been a lot of fresh air um, coming in through the vent. And I am telling you what, not a, not a whisper of dog smell and not a whisper of vinegar. The other thing I do in all my laundry is I have three tennis balls, just regular old tennis balls in my dryer. And I put them in there to bang out the dog hair bang out the dog hair from the blankets, from their blankets, and from my own laundry. Because even though those blankets were soaked, washed, and extra rinsed, uh, still a lot of junk in them. And I attribute that, getting this much out of a clean load of laundry, uh, to the tennis balls. Again, I keep them in the tent, in the dryer all the time. I, I fluff up my down pillows with them. I dry all my clothes with them. Uh, bang the dog hair out of my clothes. Bang the dog hair out of their blankets. And there's a lot of sand when I empty this. You can hear the sand coming out of, um, again, blankets that were washed for two hours. So, highly recommend the tennis ball method. Uh, tennis balls are like, I don't know, what, $1.98 for three versus the wool balls, which the wool balls don't have any weight to them. They're fabric softeners, uh, but there's no weight in them, and the, I think the weight is what bangs out the garbage, so. You all have a fabulous, wonderful day. Go give those dogs a big hug and a kiss. Love them up. Keep them happy, healthy, safe, and strong, because that's how we like them here at KLM's Crazy for Dogs. The House of Boston's. Have a fabulous day.